What is there to know about Ruskin? Plenty. Come on and I'll show you. Ruskin was founded on the banks of the Manatee River in 1908. It's named after the English writer and social reformist John Ruskin. By 1925, Ruskin's population was still at 200 people. It had six hotels, two sawmills, one turpentine still, a public library, the Ruskin Telephone Company, four groceries, one garage, a well driller, two restaurants, a dry goods dealer, a carpenter, and a number of fruit and truck growers. Some of the fields had been cultivated and tomatoes, cabbages, onions, and other crops were being raised. There was also a nursery established just for ornamental plants. With the road developments, auto service was then provided to Brandon, Tampa, and Waimama. Ruskin is the seat of the South Hillsborough County Government Center and has a branch of the Hillsborough County Public Library System. It actually had a very, very active Chamber of Commerce up until 2011 when it merged with the Apollo Beach Chamber to become the South Shore Chamber of Commerce and moved from Ruskin to Apollo Beach. Ruskin's median household income is about $57,000 according to the last census taken, and the median housing value is $183,700, again according to the last census taken. Ruskin is home to the ever-popular Little Harbor. Little Harbor is home to a lot to explore, from the beach with a beautiful bar and grill on the beach to go and explore and watch the sunset over the bay. Straight from the website of Sunset Grill. Overlooking our secluded beach and the beauty of Tampa Bay, a table at the Sunset Grill offers a view of one of the most beautiful sunsets around and the city of St. Petersburg across the water. Open daily for lunch and dinner and brunch on Sundays, we are the perfect place to relax and enjoy an array of our chef's signature dishes. Little Harbor also offers a marina, an inn and resort, condos and single family homes for sale right on the water. Ruskin has so much to offer for you to explore. Ruskin is home to Care Animal Shelter, a no-kill shelter based conveniently right off of College Avenue, not far from I-75. There is also a non-profit, privately owned dog park right around the corner, as well as plenty of trails and nature preserve areas to explore, such as Bahia Beach, E.G. Simmons Park, Little Manatee River State Park, and Camp Bayou Learning Center. If trails aren't really your thing, but still need some exercise or socialization, the Baudette Ruskin Park, now named the Ruskin Park and Community Center, has a large paved walking trail around the perimeter of the property alongside a street hockey rink, basketball courts, a great playground, and the beautiful community garden. There are also programs provided at the community center for all ages, from after school programs to sport programs to educational programs such as computer classes. Ruskin is also home to a great local drive-in movie theater, one of the few left in the area. They not only show current movies, but also host a Saturday vendor market in the cooler months. My favorite thing to explore in Ruskin is Gateway Classic Cars. It's a large building full of unique and cool cars for sale. No two visits are ever the same, as they always have rotations of vehicles coming in to be sold, and things obviously being sold. Make sure you do not touch the vehicles if you go and visit though. Ruskin is also known for their strong agricultural roots as well, especially their tomatoes, as the soil in Ruskin is perfect for growing tomatoes. I wouldn't know, I'm not a huge fan of raw tomatoes, but there is also a huge festival held in Ruskin celebrating the crop held yearly in May. Ruskin is also home to tons of great local food joints, such as Beanie's, Old Castle German Restaurant, one of my favorites, Ybor Grill, and Los Amigos a Mexican. Ruskin is also home to great growing neighborhoods such as the Cypress Series, Cypress Creek, Cypress Mill, etc., Hawks Point, Shell Cove, and much, much more. Ruskin is also home to the first Amazon warehouse that came here to the Tampa area. So between that and the multiple other big businesses, there are plenty of jobs right in your backyard. Is there anything you think I missed? Tell me in the comments and make sure to check out my guide, Moving to Ruskin, and subscribe to my channel for even more great information on Ruskin and the local surrounding area.